So yeah, so basically, this is the issue with endgames. This is the issue with endgames. So let me explain, like, in detail. This isn't going to really be any sort of a rant. This is explaining why what 2K have done is incredibly not smart. As a whole, totality of the game. And it just shows that there's a there's still a disconnect between the people that make the content for the game and people that know the intricacies of the actual gameplay and why this is going to be really bad. So, basically, end games last year worked really well. We hated it. The hardcore players hated it. The hardcore players hated end games. And the reason why hardcore players hated end games was because of copy and paste. The cards were copy and paste. We hated that. Cool. But end games made so much money. And last year, you could have not played this game for 11 months, came back into the game, and cooked. And cooked with end games because base 3 and Seshaw 25 were so fast, and whites went in. If you got open, whites went in, which meant that. You pass the ball to someone open, 99-3 ball, every white went in with the fast release in the game. So everyone was getting these releases so fast and their shots were going in. Everyone was happy. Their shots were going in. They were able to score some points. And sure, the better players were still beating the worst players. Cool. But the bad players were still able to put the ball in the basket. And then that's why Endgames made a ton of money. They got these like 99 every stat fancy cards. The problem with Endgames this year is they've given them one release... We're in a year of green or miss, by the way. A ca the end games are here for casual players. Only for casual players, by the way. Like, they know hardcore players don't like end games. They might buy end games. They don't like it. So it's there for money, and the vast majority of it is based on the casual players. So, let me explain what happens with the casual players now. The casual players are going to come into the game for end game Steph Curry. And that's what they're going to be there for. The problem is this year... The casuals can't use end games. From last year, it was a case of the end games allowing casual players to score way more points. Casual player, if I can guarantee you, I could put a sag off everything on a player who's just new, sit in the paint and leave them, give them 10 feet of space with Steph Curry in a three-point line. They'll go 0 of 30. They'll go 0 of 30 in a game. I can guarantee you they're going to miss 30 shots in a row. So a concept that's meant to be there for casual players in fact, can't be used by casual players. The only players that are going to be able to control an endgame card with Sadiq Bay, KPJ, because of how hard it is to green, Trey Escape, Trey Fade, all the SIGs and everything they've given to an endgame card. There is one type of player that's going to be able to use those cards. A hardcore player. And hardcore players hate endgames. Like, it's like, they've literally made content for a group of players that that group of players aren't going to be able to use. Why is Iverson an endgame? Because he's one of the greatest players of all time. Um, like, I understand giving the popular players endgames. Like, Iverson getting an endgame, cool. Steph Curry getting an endgame, cool. But the fact is, is that a casual player is going to be way better with Steph Curry, with Steph Curry release, than a casual player is going to be with Steph Curry, with Sadiq Bey, KPJ. Sadiq Bey, KPJ. Sadiq Bey is a terrible upper. It's a terrible upper. Like, you look at all of these cards right here. Like, City, Steph, KPJ, Steph Curry. If they just gave Steph, the worst part is, is that if they gave Steph Curry his own upper, all they had to do is give Steph Curry his own upper. If they want to give him KPJ base, whatever. I don't like it, but whatever. Steph Curry also, look, as much as people want to be like, oh, the Trey escape is better because it's the comp sig. The Curry is slide is iconic. It's his own move. It's been an iconic move in this game since 2K16. It's been an iconic move. So an iconic move since 6, 2K16 is taken out of the game for no reason. There are 80 players in this game with Trey Escape. Like, this isn't Steph Curry. This is just a park player that looks like him. Like... He doesn't even get the curry fade. The curry fade's better than the tray fade. I don't care what anyone says. The curry fade's better than the tray fade. Like, we've literally made a card. We've it's an entire set of cards catered for a player base that can't use them. Like, what are we doing? Like, this Steph Curry's closer to Trey Young than it is to Steph Curry. Like, is this Steph Curry Fortnite skin? Like, come on. And the fact is that you just know, 
if you when you see this guy load up every game you guys know this is how you win you see this guy load up because a lot of players that new players are gonna come into the game you leave them wide open they shoot over 30 you win they never play the game online again they never play the game online again and it's you know and i want to say this right now is that this was a really good idea giving endgame steph curry level one it was a really good idea the problem is there is a disconnect between the people that made the content and people that know the game there is a huge disconnect there and the problem is, is that maybe sam doesn't play the game enough anymore um maybe sam because i would have assumed with sam there on the dev team that like something like this would have been very noticeable that it would have been really noticeable that like okay when you've been around this game long enough when you've played this game enough you know that like if you're playing a complete casual player in their first game you leave them open and they shoot over 40 and the faster releases they use like again my housemates are good at this game like they will run me close they were one of them said to me he was like oh i don't um i don't really like these end game cards they release they're too fast and like literally the fact that the best way to defend if you see steph curry leave steph curry open leave steph curry open is an actual strategy like come on what are we doing leave end game steph curry open is going to be an actual defensive strategy busy 6-3 that releases so fast like it's an actual strategy he's this season josh giddy but he's really he's harder to green with than josh giddy everyone knows you leave josh giddy wide open you win a game because they shoot 0 of 30 with him but like it's just these end games the problem the, the biggest issue with end games is is that last year if you guys knew anything about end games end games were what we would call training wheels players so end games played the game for you last year pretty much like if you had um an end game card it basically played the game for you the problem with end games this year is that end games are the highest degree of difficulty cards to use like if we're talking about degree of difficulty cards to use end games are now the highest degree of difficulty they're the most difficult cards to use like, you got to be really good to be good with endgames this year. Whereas last year, endgames played the game for you. But yet, the people that are good enough to use endgames don't want to use endgames. Because, oh, like, endgames are... The endgame SIGs are catered for a thousand people in the world. It's awful. It's, it's awful. Like, it's really bad... And it is just, I understand every step in the decision-making process why 2K did it. I understand every single step and I know exactly how all of it got through. I understand exactly what they did to get to this step. And there's one very, very key thing that is missing from a lot of their decision-making is the total, people, there's nobody that's involved enough with the game, with the content of the game that knows enough about the inner knows enough about the game they know enough they know they know about the game i'm not gonna say they don't they don't know enough about the game to realize how bad an idea and by the way by the way steph curry is the main case for this like if you want to argue luca paul george and d rob are fine cool but steph curry these cards are guys in packs we are buying these steph curry is there for one reason and one reason only and it's to bring casual players in and it's failed at that. It has one purpose. Sorry, it's not. It will pass. It'll be successful. At. It will bring casual players in. But the difference is, is that once you bring players in, you've got to keep them in the game. Whereas if they had made him Steph Curry game, you didn't even need that Curry slide. Just give him, make him look like he's Steph Curry in game. And not a really, well, not the hardest release in the game to green. He at least might keep players in. The problem is, is that this Steph Curry, even a bad player playing, even a playing on semi-pro offline, a new player is going to miss 75% of their shots to their 99 Steph Curry, and they're going to say, ugh, let's just walk. Let's just walk. That's what they'll do. That's what they'll do. It was not, it's not a good decision. It is not a good decision what they've done.